Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have done another Primark try on haul for June. So I went into Primark today, to look, took a look around, saw what was new in store and got a few bits I thought were really cute. And I've actually filmed this a little bit differently today to what I usually do. So a couple of you guys said that you wanted to be able to see full outfits. So what I've done is I've tried everything on previous to this and I have filmed myself wearing it. And what I'm gonna do is when I explain each item, I'm gonna show you guys here what it looks like as a full outfit. So everything I'm talking through now, I have literally just tried it on, hence why I am so hot and flustered. It, the weather today is really, really muggy. I'm sweating a lot, it's horrible. Are you literally licking the sweat off my hands? Ew. Let's see how this goes. If you guys do prefer this style of filming, let me know in the comments. Obviously, I just want it to be easier for you guys to see the full outfit and be able to properly explain like the quality, the size, whatever. Yeah, so just let me know in the comments, yay or nay to the new style of filming. Hey? I know. You're tired, aren't you? Before I dive into the clothes, I'm gonna talk you through some nails. So for those of you guys who have seen um, my previous Primark hauls, you will know already oh, that I always buy my nails from Primark. So I like to get their kind of stick on nails because they're really cheap. I like to be able to switch them up once a week, roughly about then. And yeah, it saves money and time having to go to the nail salon. So the ones I went for this time, I've got some on already. These are probably the most jazzy nails I've ever had. So they're ombre pink to blue. And I am loving them. I think they're really cool and they're so unlike anything that I would ever have done. I did see them. They also had the kind of neon yellowy tip ones. And for me, I'm too basic styling to have anything that wacky. I just wasn't brave enough. So I just went for the blue ones, which I love. I also got some, which ones are these? Square Leto gloss stone ones. They're just a nice kind of dark nudie color. I got two packs of those. So the Square Leto ones are only one pound. I think these blue the ombre ones were one pound 50. And then I also got some pointed white ones, which are matte and those are one pound. So very ch cheap and cheerful. I love them, I always wear them. I like to be able to switch it up each week, but just thought I'd try something a bit new today. I'm gonna shunt the camera this way so that I have room to insert my outfit. Okay, so first up, time and time again, I'm trying mum jeans. So these are the vintage mum jeans. They are 13 pounds. So they're a really, really nice vintage washed out mum jean. They have turn ups at the bottom. Actually, I think those, I don't know if they're meant to be turned up, but they are turned up. I got these in a size 18. So sizing wise, normally in most high street stores, I wear about 16 on the bottom half and a 14-ish on the top half. But in Primark, I always size up at least one size because everything comes up so small. So I got these in an 18 and they were really, really snug. They fit, but they were just tighter on my bum and my hips than I would have liked. I'd rather have had a looser fit with a mum jean, but they were really, really baggy on my calves. So they are very straight cut up and down mum jeans. The quality is okay though. Nothing to complain about there. But I mean, price wise, they are very cheap, 13 pounds. If any of you girls have a really big bum or big hips like me, then they're probably gonna be a little bit too straight cut. But the thing is, if I'd have gotten them a size, size bigger, then they would have been too big on my waist. So depends how you like them to fit. But for me, these were way too straight cut. Now, when I filmed it, I wore it with this really cute top. In actuality, I wouldn't wear such a floaty baggy top with mum jeans. I just personally think that for me, it's a little bit too much kind of fabric sitting on me. I'd rather have a maybe more fitted top and wear a bigger, baggier kind of jean or wear a looser top like this with some skinny jeans. 
but I got this top it's really really nice the color is so beautiful it's a kind of greeny gray pastel -y color it's buttoned down the front love that really summery and the best bit is that it has these little ties on the side so you can cinch in the side wear it bigger looser and you can kind of tailor it for your shape which I thought was so so cool so I got this in a 14 size wise I thought it was absolutely fine it was 10 pounds so for a really nice floaty summery top it's really good pricing the material is really really thin and floaty so absolutely perfect for summer and the sleeves are really nice I mean that's the sleeve really nice kind of flary sleeves as well and I always think that's such a flattering kind of cut of sleeve and then you'll kind of feel a bit floaty one thing that's I've seen everywhere at the moment is these really sweet little headbands so I got one of these the pattern I got was a kind of sand and white pinstripey effect. It was £2.50, has a really cute little knot on top. I normally struggle with these because I've got such a big head. Oh, the label's digging in. But I thought it was just really sweet. I think maybe I'd sweep my hair to the side a bit or something. But it's really comfortable. I think it's just a nice little extra to add to an outfit to kind of tie it in. And a lot of stuff I actually got was this kind of sandy colour anyway, so it fits quite nicely. So I got this skirt, which I, I've i got quite a lot of stuff in this kind of colour with the stripes, and I just think it's so nice and summery, and it looks like a really kind of classy colour palette with the creamy white and the taupey sand colour. It's literally just a really, really light, linen-y type A-line skirt, nice and airy, with buttons that off-centre a little bit, I twisted it round a bit more because I found that for me that was a bit flat, more flattering. I will say though this came up exceedingly small, it came up really really small. So I sized up to an 18 and it was still so so tight and the buttons were gaping so it was really unflattering because it was so small but I think if I got it in a size bigger it would be fine. And before anyone says, I am already sizing up. I've had comments previously about, oh why don't you just get the size that you are? I'm trying to, normally I would take a size 16 in a skirt when I sh would shop at Topshop, New Look, wherever it may be, I would take a size 16 and generally speaking they would fit. So by picking up an 18 in Primark, I am already sizing up and for me they're already coming up too small and I know so many of you girls have the same issue. So before anyone comments and says, why don't you just buy the size you are? I'm trying guys, I'm really trying here. Primark sizing is just ridiculous. And for anyone who's shopping at Primark, don't be disheartened, it's so common. And sometimes stuff will come up too big as well. So the best thing to do is try stuff on in store, but I am allergic to trying stuff on in store because I just hate it. But anyway, so I got a size 18 and the skirt's eight pounds. So it's really, really good pricing. And I just think it's a really sweet little skirt. The only thing I would have to say is that it did come up a little short for my liking. I would prefer it a bit longer. But again, I had to kind of hitch it up a little bit higher than it's probably meant to be worn because it didn't quite fit. This white shirt, it's just a long line button up shirt and I wore it done up over the top. It's really sweet. It's got these little tortoiseshell buttons, a kind of long floaty, again, linen type shirt. I got it in a 16, which was fine on my top half, but it was a bit too tight to do up across my hips. But what I love about it is that it has these little loops and a really, really little tie belt to cinch it in. So it makes it really, really flattering. It was 10 pounds. So for a nice kind of chuck on shirt, I think that's really, really good pricing. It's that kind of linen-y, feeling I wore it with the wrong bra I wore it with the wrong color bra when I did this but I'd say it's not too see-through but you would probably have to choose the right bra to wear it with which I think is completely understandable for a white top yeah I'm really happy with this much better quality than I thought it would be and I think this is just great to have in your wardrobe to either wear as a top you could wear it over jeans you could wear it with shorts, you could tie it up around the waist, or you could actually wear it open 
over a dress or whatever just as a kind of throw on cover up or also you could wear it down the beach with a bikini just to kind of cover up and hide the shoulders from the sun because us Brits burn bad. I also got this blazer and I gotta say this is the first thing that I was just really unimpressed with. It's just a very very thin blazer. I got it in a size 14 and I thought size wise it was fine. It was £15 and that is massively overpriced. So the material is awful, it's not lined properly, it's just a single layer which I thought would be good for summer if you want to have a jacket to kind of you know tie an outfit together that you're not going to get too hot in. Having a single layer blazer kind of shirt jacket thing is a really good thing to have but it just feels cheap. Um, it's a kind of, not corduroy, but it's got lines like that. There's no button detailing, there's fake pockets, these are just sewn up pockets, there's no actual pocket on the inside. But most of all, there is just no shape to it whatsoever, it is literally like a sack jacket. So I was really disappointed, I did really like the colour, that's why I picked it up. I thought this camel colour is really nice, really kind of summery does go with a lot of stuff but then it's good for autumn and spring as well just 15 pounds for this i just thought was so overpriced right this has got to be my favorite thing out of everything this bag so i paired this with so many of the outfits i wore today it's 10 pounds it's so cheap and i'm not sure if you guys can see it's um oh what would you call this a kind of woven bag so it's really, really soft. It's just a circular bag with a really nice long strap. The strap does go across your body and it's a great beach bag, summer bag, whatever. Just chuck them in and go. The only fault with this is that there is no fastening. It's literally just an open bag, which is why it is so cheap. So I do absolutely love this. I've been looking for something like this for quite a while. And I know there's loads of wicker bags out there. And I think the wicker bags do look great. But I just feel like because this is a kind of creamy white. That I would wear this with a lot more stuff. So for £10 I think what I'm going to do is try and find a popper that I can stitch onto the inside. To at least just close up that top bit. I just get a bit paranoid about walking around with a bag that's just open. And people can easily put their hand in. But just by putting a popper there. It's just going to close it up a little bit at least. So for me, peace of mind, I might do that. The bag is so friggin' cute and it's only £10. Every time I go into Primark, I look at the dungaree dresses and I never get them because I'm like, they will not suit me, they will not suit my shape, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to get one. Today I got one. So, I got this beautiful little dungaree dress and i think it is the cutest thing ever but guess what i was right it does not suit my figure so i got this in an 18 which was actually okay sizing i'm not sure what the fit is meant to be like because i've never worn dungarees apart from when i was a small child yeah so i got it in 18 it was 13 pounds so i think price wise that is good for the kind of quality that you get the straps are really nice, there's a really nice big pocket on the front and then as you would expect it just kind of dips down, that was kind of on my hip so I just wore it with a little white crop top underneath which I think looks really cool and I think it's nice to have a little bit of skin on the side but it's not too much. The thing that I found with it is that basically I just think it's suited for someone a bit more straight cut because I found that it was fitted around my hips and then just really baggy kind of round here and that's the area that I go in and that's the area that I feel like it's more flattering if I cinch things in there because it's a, my smaller part compared to my hips so this was not flattering on me I did love it yeah I mean I wish it did suit me I really wish it did but right and then last up I actually got this dress in this, it's kind of the same dress, but a very different style. I got this black denim dress, which was a zip up one and it had little, not little, kind of like chunky straps. But this one has these little cap sleeves. So this is a button, button down dress with little sleeves on it. 
fitting wise, what size did I get it in? I got this in a 16. I got my zip up dress in a 14 and that one fits me really well. I got this one in a size bigger because I thought, oh, it might be nice to have it a bit looser. And this fits exactly the same as my size 14, even though it's a size bigger. So yeah, well done again, Primark. It's quite a fitted dress, but at the same time, it is really elasticy, which I think is nice. It gives you a little bit of movement. I had a tiny bit of gapage with the buttons, but nothing too major. Overall, it was just quite a form-fitting dress. The main issue I had with it was the sleeves. So they're kind of gathered and I had this weird poofy bit on my shoulder, which stuck out and just looked really odd. So that was my main issue with it, but it has this kind of stitched in area around the waist, which I think is really flattering because it kind of cinches you in a little bit. Price on this was 15, which I think is actually the same as what I bought paid for the zip up one so price wise i mean that's yeah it's okay i think i still prefer my zip up one i just think the zip's a bit more flattering than the buttons and it looks a bit more modern i did also wear this with the white shirt over the top so that's a really good example of how you could kind of wear the top and just tie up the stringy bits around the back obviously black very versatile but not very summery. I did want this in the blue denim, but they literally only had size eights, which is really annoying. So that is everything that I got today. Um, overall, it's been okay. I think the bag was definitely my favorite thing. Least favorite was that camel blazer. That was disgusting. But generally in store right now, quite a lot of the new stuff is actually neon. It's made a kind of transition from everything being animal prints to everything being pastel, then on to being neon. So there's obviously a trend right now of neon, which is great, but it's just not really my style. I don't tend to go for really, really vivid colors. I like quite muted colors and I'm basically just really boring. So if you like a lot of neon stuff, then definitely head down because their range of neon is massive. But I obviously just didn't buy any because it's just, I just don't, it doesn't appeal to me and I, it's not something that I would wear day to day. But yeah, that is everything. Again, let me know if you guys like this new style of filming with the little outfit stuff there. But anyway, um, let me know in the comments if you did like that style of filming. The shoes that I had on when I tried the outfits as well, the snakeskin pair were from Primark. I got them a couple of months ago. And the black chunky shoes I wore, wore with the jeans, um, they are from New Look from a very, 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 very long time ago. But I will try and find something similar because honestly, I have, I've had those, I was talking to Steve about it. I think I've had them about five or six years. Yeah. And they're still something that I wear today and they're really comfortable. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.